Hi, have you ever wanted to put postcards or family pictures or pictures from beautiful places you've traveled to up on your wall in your RV? Well, I've got a DIY idea for you that uh, if you've had trouble with command strips, uh, things falling off the wall, like some of the things I have have fallen off, uh, just stay tuned and I'm gonna show you. Hey folks, it's so good to see you again. We are the Redhead and the Preacher full-time RVers from Dallas, Texas. And I think the Redhead does have a great <laughs> tip for you today. So just go ahead and subscribe now so you'll be notified of all future videos. You're gonna like what she's got to say. This is the first thing that I endeavored to do that I'm gonna show you how to do today. Uh, I couldn't find a map that I wanted for um, my hallway as we go upstairs. And then I purchased this map from Amazon and the little pins. So everywhere we stay at least one night, I put a little pin. And I wanna come around here and show you. It's not just glued up next to the wall. It has something behind it. And that's what I'm going to show you today how to do. So I set out to solve a problem. I have this painting that I really love in my bedroom. And uh, it, I have blue and it really goes with it and I really love it. I've had it for over two years and it's fallen off the wall with command strips about four times. And I had about six command strips on the back of this. So I said, that's enough. I'm not going that route again, but I didn't want to throw the picture away because I loved it. And it was on, um, a can it's a canvas that was on a stretcher board like this and it was I thought very light and I had plenty of command strips on the back but it continued to fall off so I took the canvas off of the board and I used foam core board on the back and that's what I'm going to show you how to do. And I mitered the edges, as you can see. And you can see the white core foam board. There are three uh, pieces of the board on the back of this. So I did that for my bedroom. In one of our latest videos on the Crystal Mill, Bruce took me there for my birthday as a, a surprise gift for me. Uh, a place I'd always wanted to go to, and it is the most photographed site in Colorado. So if you haven't seen that video, you need to watch it because it is just beautiful up there. So I took this photograph, took it to Walmart, had it made into an 8x10, and I adhered it uh, glued uh, to two pieces of foam core board. Then I painted the edges black. So when you attach this to the wall with command strips, it sticks out from the wall. It doesn't look like uh, that you've just stuck a photograph up there. So it looks very nice. Now you can use Mod Podge on top of a photograph if you like, or any of the other artwork that I'm gonna show you uh, to, to keep it. So I used a spray sealer that I use in painting rocks and everything that I do mandala painting. So I sprayed the first one that I purchased from Walmart and you can see maybe you can't see the difference but this one is very uh, dark looking it doesn't look near as pretty so I made another one so uh, then now what I'm going to show you today is how to do something smaller a postcard and you will purchase a foam core board I believe the last, these that I bought, I purchased from Dollar Tree and they were a dollar a sheet. And I think that's about all they were worth because they don't have as nice of a cut. The first ones that I purchased was from Walmart and I think they were $2, something like that. And they were much easier for making a nice smooth cut. So let's get started and I'm gonna show you what to do. What you will need is the foam core board, of course, which isn't very expensive. You will need some uh, spray glue, Easy Tack by Krylon is what I've been using, because uh, you don't want any uh, glops of glue or anything underneath. 
the photo or whatever you decide to do. Uh, and you will need an X-Acto knife. You cannot use scissors because scissors will crimp the edge and you can't cut all the way across because I tried. So uh, you need the X-Acto knife and you'll need some kind of cutting board or something to cut on. So this is just a little scrap that I had left. So I'm gonna go outside and give it a spray with the glue and I'll be right back. Okay, I have sprayed the back side of the postcard and I'm going to put it on the foam core board. And you have to do this very quickly because it, it dries. You can't see what I'm doing. Uh, so um, you have to use a cloth to press it down. There it is. So now I'm going to take the X-Acto knife and cut around the photograph. Now this is the most difficult of the procedure because nothing else really is. Okay? Okay, so we're going to take the X-Acto knife and put the little point down first and press very hard and just go around the edge Oops, went into the picture a little bit there. I'm trying to go a little bit faster. And there it is. Okay. And there I've cut that edge off. And I will go back and make it neater. But you can see it's not, that's the most difficult part is using the X-Acto knife and to get the edges nice and smooth like that. Now you can leave uh, the edge white. You can paint it black if you would like, brown, whatever you want, uh, that it doesn't still look like the foam core board. And you can also put it on two two pieces like that to make it stick out more from the wall. And as I did on the canvas of the church that I showed you first, I used three pieces. So uh, you can do however you would like to do it. This is the photo of the crystal mill that I did. And I want you to see what it looks like on the wall. And I'm gonna come over here and show you on the edge and this is the canvas of the uh, little church that I did for my bedroom. And I think it looks really pretty. And so I hope you enjoy all these things and you can do some for your RV. I hope you've enjoyed this DIY on how to uh, hang and make some artwork for your RV. I know Bruce would die if I ever nailed a, a a nail into the wall and so we don't have too many options but if you're like me and you're full-time this is my home and I love things on the wall mm -hmm. and especially memories and things that are precious to me so we are glad you watched and hope you did learn something Linda loves to do that kind of thing and she wanted to share that with you hey don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you'll be notified of all of our upcoming videos God bless each and every one of you and remember may God bless America Thank you.